Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Wolfpack Man YouTube channel. Let's see an old man opening old packs. Uh, tonight's Monday night game features the 8-1 Eagles against the 7-2 Chiefs. Both very respectable records. You know, we kind of just take it for granted. You're going to have these 8-1 and one teams in the 7-2 and two teams that are, you know, historically good. The Lions, did you guys see the Lions somehow or another pull out a win yesterday? They scared the bejesus out of me and pulled it out. They're 8-2, and two, and I heard the guy, the broadcaster for the game, say that this is the last time they started 8-2. and two. I was one year old. I'm 62 years old now, so that's like a 60 years without starting eight and two. Even though here you got the the Eagles at eight and one, Chiefs at seven and two, you know. So so that it just puts things in perspective on the kind of season the Lions are having. So I'm I'm happy for the Lions, um, and uh, so so anyways, today I have this pack to open. I picked it up from this off eBay from this uh, guy from this guy that's from S San Francisco. I uh, had a box of these, and I probably bought like three or four out of uh, from him from from his box. So I've had good luck with them. So fingers crossed, I'll have good luck with this one. 1978, 79 Topps basketball. Topps was the only set. Only basketball set you could get in 1978. Pete Maravich on the front with plus a stick of gum, of course. Cracks me up. I, I just remember growing up and think, and there was only one set. It was always tops. All the 70s, there was only. I, I didn't even know there was OPG and all these other things. So, but before I open this this pack, I'm excited to open it. But before I open it, I, uh, you and me, you know me. I like to share my autographs, and so I have this. Uh, an autograph of a basketball player who is in the Naismith Hall of Fame and also College Basketball Hall of Fame. He passed away 20 years ago, but he is credited credited as a great innovator and someone who brought the jump shot into basketball playing for Stanford in the 1930s. So do you know who it is? He he led N the NCAA Division I in scoring two years in a row back in the 30s. He was a three-time consensus first team All-American. If you, you you may not even know him after I show you this autograph, but he's someone worth going go out on Wikipedia and in pretty amazing uh, his name is Hank, is Ang Angelo Giuseppe, a.k.a. Hank Lizetti. And so there he is right there. There's his autograph. I got this autograph back in the 1990s. So, uh, so I thought that would be kind of a cool, someone, keep, think about that, someone who, every, we just take the jump shot for granted, and this guy was, was everyone back in the 30s used to speak, do two hand set shots and here he was jumping up in the air and shooting so <laughs> kind of funny when you think about it so here's the back of the pack um we'll see coming apart pretty easily so i don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign <laughs> There's Junior Bridgman. Oh, shoot, I forgot to even... Oh, look at that gum. Big piece of gum I forgot to mention. 132 cards in the set, 37 of which are Hall of Fame players. Wes Unseld, Elvin Hayes, Dave Cowens, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, David Thompson, Moses Malone, Dr. J, George the Iceman Gervin, Pistol Pete Maravich, Earl of Pearl Monroe, Walt Clyde Frazier, Pistons, Dave Bing, and Bob, the big dauber, Lanier. There's also 18 rookies in the base set. Bernard King, Dennis Johnson, Jack Sigma, James Buddha Edwards, Cedric Cornbell, Cornbread Maxwell. All the cool nicknames were back in the day. Man, I, I hardly, usually these packs, I don't usually see a big piece of gum like that. So that, to me, is a good sign. So we know we've got, oh, sorry, K 
can't see. <laughs> can't see what I can't see. So we've got Junior Bridgman here on the front. Milwaukee Bucks and then me. You know, I'm going to show you the back of his and then I'm going to turn it over to the back. This is what the back of the cards look like. Cool. And now I'm going to flip it over and there's the huge gum stain on the back of Sonny Parker's card. So definitely that pack, that card was was sitting in next to that gum for what is that 1970 70 is that 45 years or something? Something like that, 45 years. So next card is Kareem Abdul Jabbar. So we were one spot away from Kareem being all jacked up with gum stains. Instead, there's Kareem being guarded by Wes Unseld's super cool card. Uh, John Lucas. Uh, is that his rookie? I can't know, but it looks like it's a second year card. That guy had had an has had an amazing life. So if in case you don't know about it, you should check him out. Uh, Richard Washington, UCLA. Playing there for the Chief Kansas City Kings. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs, nice Tom. Uh, Elmore Smith for the Cavs again shooting over this uh, a Washington Bullets players so obviously the photographer lived in Washington Marvin the Eraser Webster I was thinking Marvin Bad News Barnes. I don't know why that name popped into my head. Louis Dampier from the eight of ABA is the ABA's three-point field goal leader. You look at the back, man. That guy could shoot. He was probably one of those Indiana Mr. Basketballs or something. Here for the Spurs. Uh, Anthony Roberts. This is definitely a rookie card because it's got one year stats. Back in the day where they didn't make rookie cards until they'd actually played. And again, shooting over another, a Washington bullet. Uh, Bobby Wilkerson. Seattle and then Denver. I don't remember him. Looks like we have like uh, four more cards. Tom Henderson. For the bullets. <laughs> Can have a bullet in, in every picture just about. Ray Williams, another rookie. Oh, look how high, how, okay, that's, he's over the, shooting over the nets in that picture. Dave Bing, all right, we got, we got Piston Hall of Famer Dave Bing. He's playing here for Boston, it looks like, um, but most of his career was spent in Detroit. So that's pretty cool. I think I see Mitch Kupchak in the background. And the last card in this pack is Scott Wedman. He played for the Kings. Is this a Kings card? Yep. And lo and behold, there's Washington Bullets in the picture again. It's so funny. It must have had one photographer who took all the pictures for all the cards that one year obviously the cream card was a big hit uh john lucas 
Um, Louis Dampier, that's cool. Dave Bing, super cool. So uh, there you go. 1978, my junior year in high school, 1978-79. Um, Tops basketball. And a little history lesson on Hank Luzzetti, which... <laughs> Angelo Giuseppe, Hank Lizzetti, uh, one of the inventors of the jump shot. Peace and pickleball, peace and pickleball. You guys enjoy tonight the uh, Eagles and the Chiefs. And uh, Thursday, going to be the Lions. Yeah, shooting for 9-2. and two. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>